Chapter 562, Gold Sun Island. With their combat abilities, it wouldn't be much of a problem for the eight god corpses to kill a martial practitioner at the peak of the fragmentation realm. Once he made sure that the island master of Gold Sun Island was the only one at the peak of the fragmentation realm, Kin Lai's worries disappeared. We can try making contact, Kin Lai said, determination shining in his eyes. It would obviously be best if we didn't expose ourselves and managed to get a free ride to the place that Senior Sister Zhu spoke of. Shall we try, then? Song Tinu's eyes lit up. We can try, even if they find out who we are or have ill intentions, it won't be too late to summon the god corpses. Zhu Moyan sighed. Is something else on your mind, Senior Sister Zhu? Kin Lai asked, surprised. This copper rank force, Gold Sun Island. They are kind of related to Blood Fiend sect, she said softly. If we end up having to kill them, I'll regret it. What do you mean? Kin Lai asked. Gold Sun Island's island master, Sheng Yumiao, should be a member of the Xing family, like the Xia, Su, and Lin families. The Xing family was one of the five great families of the Heavenly Calamity continent, Zhu Moi explained. The five great families used to be Blood Fiend sex copper rank vassal forces, serving the sect in order to survive. The Xing and Miao families, however, were purged along with Blood Fiend sect. They fell into decline and eventually disappeared from the continent. The Xia, Lin, and Su families then rose to prominence in the Heavenly Calamity Continent by using Blood Fiend Sex destruction as a stepping stone. Qin Lai seemed to understand the situation somewhat. Were the Xing and Miao families loyal to Blood Fiend Sect? He asked. Yes. Zhu Moin nodded. She appeared relatively calm as she said. It's exactly because the Xing family and the Miao family stayed loyal to Blood Fiend Sect that they were destroyed. This Xing Yu Miao is a member of the Xing family? Qin Lai asked. The remainder of the Xing and Miao families knew that they wouldn't be able to survive in the Heavenly Calamity Continent. The Xia, Lin, and Su families hunted them down, so they could only venture out into the ocean. In the end, Sheng Yu Miao became the island master of Gold Sun Island, and Miao Yangtze became the valley master of Green Moon Valley. Both of them are descendants of the Xing and Miao families. Zhu Moin sighed. Sheng Yu Miao and Miao Yangtze are capable people. They fought to establish themselves in the Heavenly Slaughter Continent so the remaining members of the Xing and Miao families could have a place to live. What is Sheng Yu Miao's current attitude towards Blood Fiend sect? Have you tried to get in contact with him? Qin Lai asked grimly. Qin Lai said you, but he was actually referring to Zhu Moin and the members of Blood Fiend sect. Those people were currently hiding in the Heavenly Slaughter Continent. They knew that Gold Sun Island and Green Moon Valley were closely connected to the Xing and Miao families. Yet, why did it seem like they hadn't tried to recruit either force? Blood Fiend sect did contact them, but they refused to associate with Blood Fiend sect. Zhu Moin said, a dull expression on her face. Blood Fiend sect became a public enemy of the Land of Chaos. If I were Sheng Yu Miao or Mia Yang Tzu, I wouldn't want to get involved with Blood Fiend Sect again either. It's been so many years, Du Xiang Yang said. His mouth twisted into a sneer. Sheng Yu Miao and Mia Yang Tzu are just descendants of the Xing and Miao families. They probably don't feel any connection to Blood Fiend Sect. I believe that must be the case as well. Zhu Moin nodded slightly. Gold Sun Island ships are getting closer, Song Tina said in a low voice. If we want to try the peaceful approach, you need to have the god corpses descend now. Qin Lai, prepare to swim, everyone. Qin Lai shouted. Immediately after he said that, he leaped into the ocean. He then took out the demon sealing tombstone and sent commands to the god corpses, dragging the enormous basket with them. The eight god corpses quickly descended deep into the sea. The six people that remained standing on the heads of the god corpses immediately plunged into the water and had to use spirit power to stay afloat. What should we say to those people of Gold Sun Island when they get here? Luo Chen asked as he treaded water. What should our identities be? Let's say that we were traveling from the Heavenly Calamity Continent to the Heavenly Slaughter Continent, and a storm destroyed our ship in the middle of the journey, forcing us into the ocean. Zhu Moin said, making up a story for everyone. Many martial practitioners from the Heavenly Calamity Continent are too poor to afford the exorbitant fees of intercontinental teleportation. Since they can't use the teleportation formations to reach the Heavenly Slaughter Continent, most endure the long voyages. Some find themselves stuck at the verge of breaking through to the next realm, so they use also choose the travel to the Heavenly Slaughter Continent by ship to gain experience at sea and take in the vast scenery of water. Zhu Moin paused and said, any name should be fine as long as our surnames aren't Xia, Lin, or Su. So Gold Sun Island and Green Moon Valley still hate the three great families of the Heavenly Calamity Continent? Song Tina asked in surprise. They hate them down to their very bones. Zhu Moin nodded. It's a pity the Gold Sun Island and Green Moon Valley are just copper rank forces. In all these years, they've never dared to enter the Heavenly Calamity Continent because they know that the three great families hate them as well. They only dare to attack members of the three great families in the Heavenly Slaughter Continent. Once Blood Fiend Sect has been rebuilt, maybe we can use that hate to recruit them. Kin Lai said, rubbing his chin. As they spoke, the eight god corpses had long sunk deep into the sea. Enormous shadows no longer appeared just below the water's surface. The flag embroidered with a golden sun slowly drew nearer. Five gigantic steel ships parted the waves. A few minutes later, a sword leaf boat emerged from the large ship. The small, fast-moving boat carried five Gold Sun Island martial practitioners. They wore golden clothing with the insignia of a sun at the center of their backs. Who are you? The leader of the five asked harshly. Why are you swimming in the ocean? Where's your ship? Zhu Moyan quickly narrated their prepared backstory. We hail from the Heavenly Calamity Continent, she said. We. We didn't have enough spirit stones to pay the fees required to use the teleportation formations, so we could only travel by ship. Some time ago, we were unlucky enough to encounter a storm. 
He destroyed our ship and left us floating in the ocean. Just you? The people on the sword leaf boat clearly didn't believe her. Ships that traverse the ocean usually carry thousands of people. Your ship was destroyed, but only seven of you survived? The winds and the waves separated all of the survivors, carrying everyone else to other places, Zoom Moin said. We're the only ones here. You were headed to the heavenly slaughter continent? The leader asked. Yes. To do what? Gain experience. What are you called? Everyone in Kin Lai's group reported fake names, making sure that they didn't use the surnames Zaya, Lin, or Su. They also mentioned that they lived on the outskirts of the heavenly calamity continent. When it was his turn, Kin Lai's mind went into overdrive and said he was called Xing Lai. When he did, the person questioning them immediately looked at Kin Lai and interrogated him about his ancestors. I don't remember much about my ancestors. Since I was young, I lived deep in the mountains with my family. My grandfather always said that our Xing family originally prospered, but had to hide in the mountains to avoid a calamity, Kin Lai said with a sigh, then continued, before he died. Grandfather warned us not to tell anyone in the heavenly calamity continent that my surname was crossing. He constantly told me that, if I had the chance, I should leave the heavenly calamity continent as soon as possible. Only when I left would I be able to tell people my true name. What's your surname? The leader asked, his stern expression wavering. Say it again, Xing, Qin Lai, said in a natural manner. My name is Xing Lai. Let them come aboard. A soft, feminine voice resounded from the largest ship that had stopped in front of Qin Lai's group. A race of excitement could be heard in it. Little Wu, bring the boy named Xing Lai to me. Alone, I want to question him. Yes, big sister. A youth on the sword leaf boat immediately nodded. He then turned to Kin Lai and the others, saying, Come, follow me to the ship. Then, after a moment of hesitation, he beckoned Kin Lai forward, You. He said, Come here, this sword leaf boat can carry one more person. You may come aboard, Xing Lai. This. This isn't appropriate, right? Kin Lai said, embarrassment showing on his face as he looked at the rest of his group still floating in the water. Nothing's wrong. The youth's attitude toward Kin Lai clearly improved. Come on now. Climb aboard. I'm, I'm so sorry. Kin Lai made his way onto the sword leaf boat as Song Tino and the others watched. The youth was even nice enough to give him dry clothing to wear. The rest of Kin Lai's group still floated in the ocean, soaking in the water. They channeled spirit energy as they watched the sword leaf boat speed back to the largest ship. All they could do was follow the boat as fast as they could. That motherfucker. Du Ziyang Yang exclaimed regretfully. If I knew that would happen, I would have said my name was Xing Ziyang Yang. That bastard Kin Lai. Zi Jingsun cursed. 